just an opportunity, different opportunity to go on the road and get some points. We know we're going to have three tough games away. No road game in this league is easy, but it is what it is. So we'll try to take what we did last game at home and um, carry that into this road trip. This is our first midweek match, so I think it's going to be a tough one for us. New England didn't play this weekend, I don't believe, so uh, they're going to be fresh. We're probably going to you know, make a few changes to our lineup, so it's going to be important for us to, um, you know, to really come out with uh, uh, a solid team and uh, you know, uh, get a result out there. You worry about Wednesday night, um, and we'll see you know, what, what, what we choose to do with the lineup and all those things. Uh, I know the coaching staff has to worry about that. Uh, with guys that have minor, you know, injuries or whatever. But for us, you know, I think strictly it's a you look at Wednesday night and you say, if this is a game where we can grab three points, let's do it. And then that way, you're maybe not going into Saturday, um, you know, really feeling like you have to get something, uh, you know, 100%. Uh, and maybe you're chasing it a little bit. So I think, you know, Wednesday night's a great opportunity uh, to gather some points up, you know, going into Saturday. One thing that we really want is more consistency, you know, we, to really string some wins together, and then that's how you add up the points quickly, obviously, but, you know, you make more of a statement in the league, um, and you put yourself in a better position come the end of the year to, to be competing for something. So it's just all about consistency, you know. I think in every game we've done certain things right, and it's about stringing those things together and being mentally sharp so we can continue that for a full 90 minutes week in, week out. It's never easy for us to travel all the way to the East Coast. It takes a full day. We lose a full day of training and uh, recuperation, I feel like. But again, we go two days early. Hopefully we get there. We get the, the flight out of our legs tomorrow, and we get ready for a big match uh, Wednesday night. I really enjoy you know, playing uh, midweek games because you, know, you, you just get sharper and you don't have to train as much during the week. You know, and uh, this is what you play for. You know, more games, uh, you know, the, the better it is, I think, uh, for you as a pro. So. Um, yeah, I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be two big challenges for us. If we take anything for granted and if we look at our opponents and say that they're struggling in one area or another, that's typically when we get ourselves in a lot of trouble. So we've got to respect our opponent and know what they're capable of. Uh, they do have a lot of very nice attacking players. One of their main ones in particular has been injured over the first portion of the season. So um, he's coming back into full fitness at Sayer Sene. Um, and we know what kind of dangerous, what kind of danger he can present. They're uh, kind of a team in flux. It seems like they've got a lot of different players, um, a lot of different lineups coming out. Uh, Sire Sen up top is going to be really tough to deal with. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it's just going to be, you know, it's going to be on a turf field, so it's going to be a different environment. They've scored, you know, four, four, four goals in I don't know how many games they've played, but I'm sure as the season goes on, they're going to have a few games where they, you know, it, it catches up to everybody else. And so, um, you know, I think that, it can go either way a little bit. Maybe that if they're not fully confident uh, in going forward and creating chances, they, they're a bit more focused on being organized and staying in their shape, which it's difficult to break teams down sometimes that do that. So I don't think it matters either way. I think you know, knowing that they're at home, you know, any team in this league when they're at home is going to expect to get three points. Um, and so you know, going in there on a different surface, you know, than we're used to, all those things. Um, you know, it's just important that, that we try to kind of, uh, you know, play our game a little bit, um, so to speak, and, and not necessarily worry about the other team too much or what they've done in past games or anything like that. And obviously, you know, they're a good side and all that. Everyone in the league is. But I think it's it's more of a focus on what we're trying to do sometimes more, more so than what another team's trying to do. Any successful team in our league um, has the ability uh, the capability to, to put together a string of games. Uh, you need to have a winning streak somewhere in your season, uh, and I think that now is the right time for that. Watch RSL take on New England on May 8th at 6 o'clock on Utah CW30.